Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young. So here we are leaving MSC. So we are going now to the Bahamas. We're going to the Bahamas. Leaving MSC. The Bahamas is where we come. And I'm gonna show you what a Cobra looks like between a crowd of people. Cobra is happy to be on the Bahamas. You can't even recognize the eye right now. You get a black, black windshield in the front. That's a lot of a lot of people. Discover NASA too. So we're heading out to the Bahamas. If you want to know what the Bahamas water looks like, that's a good example of it right there. Bahamas check-in immigration and we're heading to now. Heading down this place. A lot of ships are here. Cruise ship from all around. You got Carnival, you got MSC, you got a whole bunch of otters that is there. And a lot of people are checking out right now to go to beautiful Bahamas. That's of the Bahamas. I'm gonna take a tour of this island. It's almost 3D. It feels like it reaches out. Yes, this is 3D. The screen is three dimension. It feels like the octopus is actually touching you. Yeah, it's really cool. I got to see that. Yeah, because it actually feels like it's coming out. Yeah, there's a stingray that comes out too. It comes out all the way here. Oh, the shark is actually going to come out. Let's see how that comes out. Uh, it's... Well... I like the octopus, how it comes out of the screen. Oh, okay. It actually does come out of the screen. The 3D effect. Maurice, there's an octopus in the screen. Go back. There's an octopus in there that comes out.
there is an act first. All right, let's go this way. Coconut tree, coconut tree. All right, as we walk out, here is the tour guide. Oh, thank you. Tour to NASA. Where? Let's go to the taxi station. Anybody else on city tour? Anybody on the Anybody up for taxi cab? Sightseeing tour. How much does a taxi cab cost? Sightseeing tour. The sightseeing tour is forty dollars a person. It's a two and a half hour tour. It takes you all the different places on the island. Points of interest. Forty dollars a person. Yes, sir. And that's like a uh, private taxi. Yeah, you go on a, a, a licensed taxi that takes you around. You go with a little group. Okay, a small group. Yeah. How much okay. Group? Well, there's four. We're just looking around the island, see what's going on. He's telling them about the information now. Okay, that's the dispatcher. Atlantis? No, Atlantis, they made changes to their policy. They only want you to do the casino and the shop. But the new resort, they allow you to see the entire thing. Okay. Okay? So it's much better. And what what kind of tour you offer? This is a city tour. City takes, tour? Yeah. Takes you around the island, seeing the historical areas. Wait, is that a bus? Yeah. It's a hop-on, hop-off tour. Too. And the up top of the roof? No. No open air. <laughs> no open air? No. And how much does that cost? It's $40 per person. $40 per person. 40, 40. 4 zero. Yeah. Do you have the island safari things like your island does? Like, it's open now? Yeah. We don't have any creatures here. Um, and okay. can you pinpoint like on the place where this thing goes? This is where we are. Yes. Okay. It takes you to the eastern side of the island, mm -hmm. southern side, come around to the newest resort, which is called the Bahama Resort. Mm -hmm. So it's like making a circle. Yep. Okay. Also, we go into the residential areas, okay. souvenir shopping and all of that. And it stops and lets you visit and then you get back on? It's a hop on, hop off tour. So the hop on, hop off bus doesn't roll and then the next one come pick you up? No. That one stops? No. In fact, you hold on to your money until you get back here. Oh, okay. I stay with you. Oh, uh, you're the one that's driving it? Yes. Uh, oh, so you wait for us while we go look yeah. around and you come back on. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Um, what do you want to do? And you well, let's go around. Can you bring us back right here or do we yes. have a shuttle? Okay. No, bring you back here. All right. Let's just look around the area and then we'll come back. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll be out we, here. We would like for something to be open up. You want yeah. to sit on top? Do you have an open up inside on the first floor? No, no. The sec the, you have a first floor bus, not a double decker, right? What do you have? Just a regular bus. Just regular bus. Regular bus. Yeah. Okay, let's think about it. Let's see what you want to do, all right? Okay. Thank you. So I have some folks who want to go now. It's not bad. It's not bad. With a bus. Okay. Yeah. So let's, we can you should have take his number or something. Or, no, he's probably going to be gone by the time you come back. Let's walk around and explore. Good morning, guys. Sightseeing. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to Nassau. What kind of tax, what kind of tour you offer? We offer a two-hour sightseeing tour around Nassau and Paradise Island. Yes, sir. With what kind of vehicle? It's a air-conditioned Toyota high-ace van, 15-seater passenger That's vehicle. a bus. What's That's a bus. Price? Yes, sir. And uh, what's your price? It's 40 bucks per person, government standard rate. I understand that, but do they have open air, like open, open, uh, the bus, you know, they're open up. They're not like a high ace, uh, like a truck, open up, open view. They have one, but the lady is not in it today. She's in her. You know what I'm talking about. Like, exactly with the open like, air vans, no windows. Yes. Just a hard top, no yep, windows on yep, the side. Yep, they yep. do have one, but... The lady that drives it is, a, is in her enclosed van today. Oh. She's doing a tour in her enclosed van. We're tourists. Are you? We're tourists. We like the open vibes. No, but we do have it, but like I said, the lady is on a different job today. The okay. That yeah, no, I understand. Let, let, let's take a walk around. I'm taking a walk around. We're just going to see. Right here, whenever you guys are ready. All right. Yeah. Thank you.
So we're looking for an open vibe. They said it's only one on the island. Okay, well that one's gone already. All right, let's walk around in the meantime. I think he's just a dispatcher, Dalo. He it's, says he's the one driving it. He's the one driving it? Yeah. Are you the dispatcher or you're the driver? I'm the driver. He's the driver. Okay, so he's the driver, so then we'll take it. take before your bus is ready? Are you guys ready? Can I have a front seat? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, you're going to be in a YouTube video. No, don't put me on YouTube. My face is not good enough. <laughs> I know. The viewers are going to be coming to your your bus when they come here. Who they ask for? Mm -hmm. Who they ask for when they, they come to me? The... What's your name? Me. <laughs> I got you, Leon. Leon. You ask for Leon when you want to do a sightseeing tour. Come to Leon. the Bahamas. Okay. So we decided to take Leon a uh, tour bus. Oh, we're gonna go tour the island of Bahamas. Okay, teenagers, <laughs> meet the other teenagers, meet the old one, okay? <laughs> this, these are all his kids. <laughs> okay, where are you guys from? Texas. Texas. We're from New York. Texas, New York. Kentucky. 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 Bluegrass State. Yes. And I don't even know where the hell I'm from. <laughs> but let's get out of here. <laughs> He's from right here. Hi ladies, taxi ladies. So we're gonna get on this bus tour right now. Leon is gonna be our driver on the island of Bahamas. So as we get out on the port, we meet Leon that offer tour service around the island of Bahamas. It costs like $40 per person, government rate, on the island for like a two and a half hour, right? Two and a half, probably be about three. Three hours tour, which if you want to see the island of Bahamas, just hop on a bus like this. I believe these are the Toyota High Ace, right? Yeah. Yeah. Brand new one. Brand new one. Island of Bahamas. And this is our group that we're going with here. Gotta wait for her. Sure. Okay. We're gonna wait on you. We understand what's going on. <laughs> right. Hello. So this is the bus that Leon has, pretty much brand new. Leon has a very sweet ride here for the tourists. Sweet ride. This is the bus, everybody's getting on board. Ready to tour this island and let's see what's on Bahamas. I'm gonna share with you everything that we see, prices that it costs for everything, whatever you need to know, just like, comment in the video below and I'll bring more contents for you guys. I believe you just buy this bus and you bring it to the first passenger here, right? That won't be you, that'll be everybody else. You're I, I believe we're the first passenger in this bus here. No, you're not. 802 km, uh, probably the second. It's a brand new bus, Leon rolling here. Good morning to each and every one of you. I want to welcome you all to the island of New Providence. Now, you probably know the island as Nassau, but Nassau is really just the capital of New Providence. The Bahamas, it is made up of 700 islands and keys. And out of those 700 islands, it's just 28 of those which are inhabited. 
The population for the entire Bahamas, the last count was over 400,000 people living in the entire Bahamas. But on this particular island, which is considered one of the smallest of our islands, the population, it is just a shade under 200,000 people. So you do have the majority of the people living here on this island. And once again, my name is Leon Miller, and I'm very happy to be your tour guide. We'd like for you all to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Now, if you'd like to take your shoes off, you can go ahead and do that. Some of you may not want to do that just to save yourself from that embarrassing moment. But if you guys would like to let your hair out, you can do that. If you want to take it off, you can also do that too. But I strongly suggest you take the hair with you once you leave. Please, don't leave any evidence here on the bus. And where we are, this is the downtown area, which is called Nassau. I want to say that this bus is equipped with Wi-Fi. For those who need uh, Wi-Fi, you can click on Miller's Taxi, and the password will be taxi, or lowercase, the at symbol, 315. So it will be taxi at 315. Enjoy it. Now on this tour, yes, you will see quite a number of pink and white buildings. Most of those pink and white buildings, they're government agencies or government ministries. For example, we have three pink and white buildings across the street. We call those our parliament houses. Now those buildings, they were patterned after some buildings you would find in New Bern, North Carolina. In the square area, you'll notice a statue with a lady on the throne. That is the statue of Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria, she was the grandmother of Queen Elizabeth, and she served for some 65 years, and she was so well liked by the citizens here that you find they all went around soliciting funds just to purchase that statue to place in what we call Parliament Square. The pink and white building here is called the House of Assembly. This is where all of our politicians that have been elected to serve. This is where they would all come together. And also we have the House of Senators, where the Senators would meet. And then we also have the highest court on the island, which is called the Supreme Court. You may remember this courthouse, that's the very one that they used for the custody battle for Anna Nicole's baby, and also for John Travolta. As some of you are aware that we were once under the British, but we became an independent nation on July 10, 1973, but here we still practice the British law. You will still find our lawyers and when they're in some session, they will be wearing their white wig and their black robe. Off here to the left, this area is called the Garden of Remembrance and the monument was placed there to remember those which lost their lives during World War I and II. Their names are engraved it around that monument. And then we have this octagon pink and white building. It was the first jailhouse to be built back in the, seventh, the late 17th century. Um, the lower level was the police station, and just above was the holding cell. But in 1873, it was converted to a public library and museum, and it still serves as a public library and museum, even to this day. And then also across the street, this wall, this vacant property, also was the property where we have the first hotel to be built on the island. As you can see, that hotel no longer stands. It was named after Queen Victoria. It was called the Royal Victoria Hotel. So what was the white flag? The password? No, the... Miller's Taxi. Miller's Taxi. You got that? And it's at 315? Taxi at 3... Hold on one second. Right. Just give it a few minutes. And then we have the big old tower you see just off to our right. That's our water tower which stands at 126 feet above the ground, 216 above sea level. It holds 87,000 gallons of water and that was once used to supply water to the lower class area. It no longer supply water to that area. It's only supplying water to the two major hospitals, the private and the public hospital. And then we have straight ahead, this will be the new U.S. Embassy. What has happened is the current U.S. Embassy is that we have a resort that was built in front of it. It almost seems to be enclosing it in. And it did not sit too well with the United States government. And so they decided that they will relocate. 
And please keep in mind that we do drive on the left side of the street. So if you happen to do any driving today, please be mindful that the left side is the right side. And the right side is suicide. So I don't want you guys to go through the experience I went through when I first drove in the United States. Could I swear that I was the number one person? Everybody kept showing me that middle finger. You know how y'all Americans love to do it. And then off here to the right, this used to be the second jailhouse on the island. It's no longer a jailhouse, but a service of police headquarters and home for the fire department. And if you see the size of this tree, that tree is known as a silk cotton tree. It was planted by the slaves. Slaves planted those trees so that they can mark their village and also in the event should they wander through the woods and they became lost, they would try and locate the tree and they'd be able to make their way back to their village. And right across from the water tower, you would have the queen staircase where it took 600 slaves, 16 years, 18 hours a day. Without vacation or holidays, using just a chisel and a hammer to carve out the whole entire area from the top to the bottom from the rear right up to the front. And the stones in which they had carved out is what they used to build an ancient fort, which is also up here. And the ancient fort sits on the highest point on the island. And the ancient fort, it was built like an old steam paddle ship. And the reason for that is the shoreline where the cruise ships are. They were a bit further in. Hold that thought a second. This is the queen staircase. Those gentlemen there, they work with the Bahamas <laughs> government. So once you go there, they will go with further details of the history behind the um, Queen Staircase. And if anybody need to use the restroom, this building right here is where you have the restroom. And then also this gives you an opportunity, if you want to do some souvenir shopping, you can go ahead and do souvenir shopping. And we'll be here for about 30 minutes, okay? And um, you can click on Miller's Taxi. You click on Miller's Taxi. You find Miller's Taxi. Did it show up? Yes, we got it. Okay, and the password would be taxi, all lowercase, the at symbol, 315. Taxi at 315. <laughs> If anybody want to see the ancient fort, there is a small fee right here that you pay if you want to do a tour of the ancient fort. Okay? But I'm going to be somewhere right away where those vehicles brick? are. Okay? <laughs> okay? You like sea oil brick, right? Pardon me? Yeah, so I'll see you guys at 11 o'clock. So you stop right here, right? Mm -hmm. you, you wait us right here. No, no, no. I'm going to be over there. I can't park here. Oh, well, I'll go with you wherever you're parking. Remember my tag number is 1195. 1195. Oh, sorry. So that's our taxi that's going there right now, 1195. And we're gonna walk the Bahamas market. My sister wants, oh, you bought a ticket for me. So the ticket that goes into the old forge is sold here. And this is the cost of the ticket. Sure, $2. You buy this ticket right here, little ticket. So you can get to go to the old forge and see what's up here. Oh, you got to put a ticket in here. This is a ticket collector. <laughs> so this is a ticket collector right here, the box right here. To get to go over onto the old forge. Because Koba love to see old brick.
You got some cannon here, probably from 10,000 years ago. So, this is the old forge, it's a military base. And let's see the story behind that. Here is it. So, cannonball or round stone. Discharge at a speed of almost 700 miles per hour. These things were going, so they were protecting this island, the old forge. So I believe the British were the ones that was here. Yes, so going back, slippery. Old Forge, low room ahead. This was the fort's most protected room. The gunpowder was forced and used in the fort's cannons. Oh, so this was like a forge. Gunpowder was kept in isolated chambers called magazines. Although none of the 47 cannons were ever fired in Japan. That's where it is. So... I believe... Back in the days, that's where foreign invaders would come in. So this is the old forge right here, as we stand from Bahamas. Looking from the bottom, you would see cannons, like all lined up around it. And as you see the cruise ship there, I believe that's where foreign invaders will attack this island from the sea. So they're sitting there, right there, and that's the this island right here, Old Forge. There you go. See for yourself. <clears throat> so that's the Bahamas market. Right there. It's all for souvenir, tourist, everything you need. Right here. So we just came on the military base here back in the days when England was ruling this island. Isn't it beautiful? Look. So let me take you to the market of Bahamas now. Wait a minute, before I take you to the Bahamas market, let me come in here and see what's in here. Seventeen thirty two. I believe those guys were here. Life of the Island Soldier. The West Indiana Regiment, NASA Fort were manned by the British military in keeping a fairly attitude of the period. Only white West Indian were initially permitted to become members of the British Regiment. Black soldiers were assembled into separate regiments and were assigned primarily to colonial garrison. Okay. So this is what the old forge looked like. So now we're going to go back to the market. 
it costs three dollars plus tax to get into this place here going around to the market you got some beautiful seashell you carved the name on it you got a sword I know you got to come here to check these guys out Eleven ninety-five. That's her bus. This is her bus coming back. <laughs> so it's a very small market for a souvenir, and you come here, you're gonna expect to find things like Bahamas bot bag, famous arts and craft. Look at that, beautiful. Good morning. Arts and crafts. The taxi cabs, they come here, they left you off for 30 minutes and gives you enough time to sort this market. Enough time. I'm not into collecting souvenirs because the minute you're gonna hear me, I'm gonna be on this island today, tomorrow I'm gonna be in a different country. I just don't collect a lot of souvenirs. <laughs> Souvenir shop. Do what moves you. McCarty. This is the water supply tower. So, here we are going down. Yep. What is down here? That's the green staircase. All hand cargo by slave in the year 1812. It took but our 600 slaves 16 years to hand cargo. No, no coffee break, no you didn't talk to. Them. The reason why they call it the green staircase, every, thank you, every step from Ever Queen Victoria. Yeah, but um, it's quite a long way in the bottom. The so slave has carved this. So this is the queen's staircase, carved by all slaves. So a taxi came back here. So that's her bus that's going there. So we're gonna climb the queen staircase down All made by slaves Slave that carved this thing out In Bahamas This was all made by slaves Finally made it down, right? Wow, just imagine how much slave work here. Imagine how much slave works here. Carved by slaves, huh? So this was carved only by slaves for the queen and 
it's a long staircase. Just imagine how much slave has worked on this thing here back in those days. It's crazy how the British used to use slaves, huh? YouTuber. Oh, okay. What's the channel? Uh, let's go traveling. A R D site around here. Sure, sure. And good gonna... luck. Good luck. <laughs> this is the Queen's staircase. It's all made by slaves back in the British days when they ruled this island. So, if you're coming to Bahamas, be sure to visit this place. We're going to climb back this queen staircase to the top. It's a long way back up. Riding back up, riding back up. <laughs> it's a long way. Wow. Just imagine the labor to build this. It's hard as it is to climb. The reason why they call it the Queen Staircase, every step of Mama Queen Victoria, when she rolled on the shore, was 66 for them. But it's a down. Okay, so I'm tired from climbing the Queen Staircase alone. I don't know, you can rent this. And that's her van showing there. Coming back to get her van. This is the Bahamas souvenir market for tourists. We're back with Mr. Leon's bus. Are we back early? Yeah. Okay, we're on time. So we're back on the bus. Where did you go? Okay, everybody's good? We're good. Okay, that's wonderful. Besides from co-pilot, anybody went to see the queen staircase? <laughs> he come back huffing and puffing. <laughs> right up and down. <laughs> Trying to decorate his store. Oh, okay. Don't you have some kind of celebration out here annually, though, when they make costumes? Yeah, that's uh, 
the day after Christmas and on to the first of the new year. Okay, our next stop today, we will make a stop at the rum cake factory. Uh -huh. Who's that celebrating? <laughs> it's not your birthday. What you celebrating? It is our birthday. It is our birthday. Happy birthday. But when we say our birthday, whose birthday? Yeah. Are y'all twins? No. A day apart. Yeah. A day apart. Mm -hmm. So who's the actual date? Uh, well, well, it's not an actual day today. <laughs> okay. It's our birthday week. It's our treat. <laughs> okay. So, you guys are the only two. Yeah. Yep. Okay. A happy sweet 16. Thank you. Really nice car in front there. Yeah. Kind of making me jealous. <laughs> also, that here in the Bahamas, that 90% of the goods we consume or that we utilize here in the Bahamas, we have to import it in from the United States. So keep in mind that our prices is going to be a lot more than what you guys are accustomed to paying back in the United States. When the hike of gasoline, we ran as high as almost eight dollars per gallon. And currently, it's just over five dollars, almost six dollars right now, a gallon of gasoline. A gallon of orange juice is nearing fifteen dollars. Milk is out there at a ten-dollar gallon. I'm talking about. Minimum wage is $250. That's for a 40 hour work week. $240 per week. 50, 50. $250 per week minimum wage. Yeah. Okay. 40 hour work week. 40 hour, okay. That's $6 an hour. And then we have across, we have our public hospital. To go to the public hospital, we just pay $10. To go visit the doctor and for the ladies here in the Bahamas if they need to deliver their babies they don't have to pay at all they can have their babies for free and the public hospital is that green building right oh see the sign right here okay back in the downtown area, but this part of the downtown area, you'll see many of our stores um, close their doors. It's like a domino effect. And Most of the stores have moved further back to the western side of Bay Street. And why is that? Everybody's going back this way. Folks are moving from downtown and going into like shopping malls, going into the inner city. And with the rum cakes, if you purchase four of the smaller rum cakes, I hate to promote it, but um, you can go next door and you can get a free shot of local rum. If you purchase additional four, you get two free shots. And the more you purchase the small ones by four, the more free shots you get. If you purchase one of the large ones, you get one free shot. Two, you get two free shots. Okay? So keep that in mind. This is the rum cake here. I'm going to let you guys up. To the rum cake factory. I believe it's that one. Right here. 
Oh, this is the, it's a rum why shop. You, why you keep messing up? <laughs> so we're gonna go to the rum cake factory in the Bahamas. So let's see what the rum cake factory has to offer in here. Uh, so for those who don't drink alcohol, here's a place that you can eat the alcohol. It's the rum cake factory. Small shop makes rum cake. So not drinking? Come over here to eat it. So we're gonna get back on the bus to the next destination. Well, that's a pretty good walk. Especially going over that bridge. So after the rum cake stop, we're gonna proceed towards the next Okay, uh, family, let me just share with you. Uh, before our tours, what I've taken you to the Atlantis, but what happened is three weeks ago, Atlantis made some major changes. Like where they want me to drop you guys off is like three quarters of a mile away to get inside. And then when you get inside, they no longer allow you to see a portion of the aquarium for free. Even like the golden chair you can sit in, they now charge for that. And they only restrict you guys to the casino and the shops. So what we all decide to do is we decide to go to the newest resort, which is the Bahama, that you can go and they have a casino. They pretty much have everything like the Atlanta. You can even walk right out to the beach to get your feet wet. You can see the flamingos and exotic birds and stuff like that at the Bahama, okay? So I just want to keep that in mind. Thank you, sir. All right. And I realize that we have no drinkers here on the bus. Hey, hold on. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm taking a break. We're right here, though. Yeah. You just need a restart. I'm just taking a break. Oh, are they the birthday folks? Yeah. OK. Well, birthday girls, um, you're celebrating birthday. Um, you guys will be complimented a bottle of wine oh. but y'all don't drink wine no everybody's birthday <laughs> once there's a bottle of wine yeah. and then we have straight ahead that peach and white building so that's a private hospital if had you guys been following the story of Anna Nicole Smith that is where she had the baby and also where her son Daniel had passed away while visiting her when she's in the hospital having the baby. So that's one, the one that you saw in the news so often. And this whole area here, this was a plantation. It was called Centerville Plantation. It was owned by a very wealthy man by the name of Mr. Alfred Collins. In fact, coming up here behind this rail was his home. He had bought that home that kind of divided the people and kept the slaves always on the western side of the island. But after slavery was abolished and years went by when they all passed away, the government was able to acquire the land, sold it off, and also made roads through the wall so we are now able to access either side. And this will be the front entrance of the new hospital, I mean, sorry, public hospital. Do you see the name? Princess Margaret Hospital. And then coming up to our left will be the new U.S. Embassy. I showed you the other side, but this will be the front entrance of the new U.S. 
embassy. And it goes yeah. one story underground. It's going to be a thing of beauty. And the size of this island is only 7 by 21. 7 from north to south, 21 from east to west. And once again, we have the first jailhouse that was on the island. Up here to our right, the pink and white octagon building. Look like it has a view from the top. Funny. It has a view from the top. Actually, at the very top, there used to be a bell there for when the uh, parliamentarians were out to lunch and it was time for them to get back in session that bell will be heard throughout the downtown area so they know they need to get back to the people's business good then we have the building straight ahead that's called central bank of the bahamas it governs all banking transactions that's done throughout the entire bahamas and it also serves like the federal reserve that is back in the united states that's where the monies are kept. And it's the island only Presbyterian church built back in 1810. And then coming up to our left, we have the resident of our governor general. Governor general represents no longer the queen, but the king interests here on the island. And then you see that base that says Columbus 1492 that once housed the statue of Christopher Columbus who wanted to say that he discovered the Bahamas. But we know you cannot discover something if someone is already living there. So we no longer celebrate Discovery Day on the island. The day that was once called Discovery Day, we call it All Heroes Day. That's the time that we honor and recognize all of those which have made a valuable contribution into the developing of our nation. One of the most exclusive restaurants on the island is called The Great Cliff. This is where you find a lot of the movie stars, sports stars, those big celebrities, they like to come here and dine. The Christmas tree is still up, but it's made out of wine bottles. And should you happen to go underneath this street, you will discover the largest wine cellar in the Caribbean, third largest in the world. And they have some pretty expensive wine. And then we would have coming up this lime green building. This was once the convent for the Sisters of Charity that came in from Minnesota to educate our forefathers this was their convent here and then between this and the purple you have the mustard color building that was their church and then the academy was the purple building now we will make a stop here for those who would like to sample wine you can go ahead and sample the wine here at the well sorry to say but it's a there's a wine tasting room right here, this lime green building. For those who don't want to sample the wine, um, you can just go right off here to our left to the chocolate and ice cream. You can sample chocolate and ice cream. Okay, if you want to sample all, you can sample all. Okay? You guys want to stop, right? Okay. But I'm just saying, for those who don't want no wine, they can just go right up here to the pink building <laughs> just come right to the gentleman right here and he'll let you across if you go in. you only go into sample and come right back you're not going to sit down, cross your leg, and all that stuff. 
But if you want to grab something to drink, you can do that. And this is the current U.S. Embassy just off to our right. That's the brown or the beige color building with the satellite antennas at the very top and everything else in front of that that was built by the Chinese. And so it kind of like enclosed them in. Our oldest Catholic church is just off here to our right. National Art Gallery off to our left and then we have another one of our Chankani Museum as we all know the Chankani is our cultural festival it's like a Mardi Gras carnival type thing the big event is normally held the day after Christmas which is known as Boxing Day and also the first day in the new year we will be traveling through our lower class area aka hood area it used to be a slave village but off to our left, that's the oldest Baptist church built in 1790. That was built by a free Negro slave by the name of Prince William. When he was freed, he was granted the land and told to go ahead and build a meeting hall. Also in 1825, he came off to the right and built the second oldest Baptist church. Baptist is the dominant religion here on the island. In the lower class area, for those that have no running water in their homes, government and government have provided these city pumps here to our right where they can come with their buckets, jugs, whatever they can to fetch their water to take back home and whatever they may have need of the, of the water. And like I said, it used to be a slave village. Many of these properties, they were handed down from generation to generation. Some folks want to inherit the property. They tore the old building down and went ahead and built some new modern homes. Others they just continue and please keep in mind that not because you're in a lower class area means that everybody here is poor that's not the case some are just quite content living the way they are living right. okay but um there is some um, water facility that they can pay have water in their homes um, they can have electricity but some just don't want to because at times it can be pretty costly and these are all two-way streets in which we are traveling on. Yes, you will see some trash, a lot of derelict cars, lapidated homes. And one thing here in the Bahamas, if you don't work, you just don't eat. And I started to talk about the prices of goods here in the Bahamas. And um, also on those prices, we have to pay what they call value added tax, which is 10%. That's 10% across the board on everything. You will see like three and four homes in one yard, like what you see here. Now you guys sure are going quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> Your sugar cane tree. Oh, I'm at home right now. <laughs> oh, you better behave yourself. <laughs> this is one of the so government I'm elementary right. school. Every school in the Bahamas wears uniform, whether it's private or public, they all wear uniform. Out of one of those trees that I talked about earlier, the silk cotton tree. And the silk cotton tree is also known in many of the um, Caribbean nation, also in Africa and what's not, they call it the tree that walks in the night. There's a lot of mysterious um, happenings surrounding these trees. They do have one of that tree in Guyana. Yeah. And nobody want to cut it down. Generation from generation, they try to cut the tree down. And it's actually sitting middle of the road. Yep. Because every time they try to build a road, 
the person who tries to cut the tree down end up dying before the tree got cut down. Oh. Yeah. Same so mysteriously. they literally build the road and divide the tree in the middle because mm -hmm. it's been there for ages and ages and ages. Anyone that attempt to cut a cut tree, either they die in an accident, they die in their sleep, they Same die whatever, thing. but and that's not the government down, decided that everywhere. They, uh, that's why they're not cutting these downs, right? Right. In Guyana. No, but even the same thing here. So nobody tries to cut them down, right? Yeah, that's what I call it. Um, they said that that is the devil. So. No, there is there is yeah. something to it because the yeah. government decided that, okay, no one can cut it down, yeah. then we just build a road around it. And then when you read up on it. They try to bulldoze it. They the, try to do a lot of stuff to it. The spikes that are on the trees, they are the soles of, the, um, of that land. I, it's so many stories. I mean, I, I just think it's all fairy tales, but hey, What's the, the, name of the, tree? the silk a, cotton tree. Yeah. Yeah, the British, they try to cut it down all the time, but they yeah. never get it down. And you you can go through, even in Jamaica and what's not, they don't cut those down. They, they can. They, they, they can. Just, same thing, your wife think these trees, I mean, they're digging up the road and everything, and they don't cut it down. No, they something can. Something mysteriously happened. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of stories about that tree for real. Yeah. So the government, they just decided, all right, well, we can't get them down. Nobody can cut them down. Everybody end, that try or attempt to cut it down, they end up dying. So yeah. might as well build a road around the thing. Yeah. So it's sitting like literally middle of the road yep. in Ghana. It's been there forever. Absolutely right. What was that? Yeah, you have to be right because here we can find the same thing mm -hmm. in the Caribbean. Right. Yeah, and, and I mean, I think it's just a tree, you know what I mean? Like, why yeah. can't you just not knock down a tree? But nobody dare enough to go and try it. Well, <laughs> well, they tried, but they didn't get it down. No, but I mean, today, nobody's going to go try it, hearing of all the tales. Yeah, yeah. Would you go cut it down, hearing Probably of all not. the tales? Because in your mind, what if this actually is true? That's what's going to be going off in your head. <laughs> so you well, the Dutch it. and the British, they find out. Yeah. So yeah. They, they didn't try, so why should we? Yep. And then we have across the way, we have the University of the Bahamas. It's a four-year university. And yes, you will see all of your American fast food, but you will not find a Walmart, no Target, no JCPenney, no Marshalls. Sorry, folks. And I think so is because the Bahamas is so close to the United States and folks just love traveling to the United States. Yes, to shop and also as a time off vacation. A flight from Nassau, to Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale is only a 30 minute flying time. How much does it really cost on an average to go there? Um, just over $200 round trip. Oh, that's really cheap. Yeah, because it over 30 minute flying time. That's not bad. Get McDonald's here. Just kind of turn to get away from that traffic that was headed the other way. But we're going to get back onto that street there. It's just that's the main entrance for the University of the Bahamas. Well, I don't think there is many silk cotton tree left here. I don't see many of them. Are you kidding? I only see like 10 so far. And I could take you on the street and you will see more than 10. Because I think there's only like one left in Guyana. Yeah. Now they're popping up all over because you know the cottons. The what? The cottons that has the seed in it. You Flies. Know, the breeze just blow. And somehow it starts bringing up. Yeah. I'm sure they cut a lot of them down back in the day to build houses. Well, they used to use them to make canoes. There you go. Yeah. 
I don't know. If he says the devil's traitor going to hell in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you, you need to behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's their Rolls Royce to hell. <laughs> yeah, well, one of the tales say that the devil was tricked. That this was uh, like a motel. He went to go check it out. I know. When he went up to the top level. They kind of lock him inside there. <laughs> I guess. I believe it's all stories, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. But there was something mysterious about the tree that they left in Guyana. Yeah. These are all government schools. Uh, middle These... school, senior high school. Then we have an elementary. We call it primary, junior high, and senior high school. Yeah. And, uh, our schooling is after the British. We're about to make a, another stop. This stop will give you an opportunity to do some souvenir shopping. We normally take you two places of shopping. The place where you stop, that's considered the outdoor straw market. But where you're going is the factory. This is where you get the quality souvenirs. Um, like where you went first, the t-shirts there. You wash those. Yes, that will shrink on you. It's probably maybe the only time you wear it the first time. But <laughs> but where you going now, these t-shirts won't shrink on you like that. They also have the solar t-shirts, the ones that change color in the sun. They have costume jewelry, hats, bags, slippers, a whole lot of stuff. And no, you're not compelled to purchase anything, but just check it out. There may be something that may interest you. Folks normally say for myself, I will buy the quality stuff, but for my fake friends and enemy, I'm going to get them. <laughs> but you guys get no fake friends and enemy, right? Oh, Lord. And then we have our track and field stadium across the way. That stadium was built for the Bahamas by the Chinese. The resort that you go into, Bahama, that was built by the Chinese group of companies. And so they built the stadium for the Bahamas. Um, they said free of charge. And these pitches leading up to the stadium, these are athletes that made it to the top of their sport and coming in may we will be hosting the iaaf world relay as you can see advertised where we have those track and field teams from around the world they'll be coming here uh, may 4th and 5th and this is our custom warehouse for goods we imported out of the country this is where we have to come and pay duty to the government and we have another government complex um, two government ministries Ministry of Youth and Sports, these are all youth and sports on the island, also the Ministry of Education, that these are all the schools and their curriculum. And you will not see the price of gasoline at the various service stations, there's really no competition, they are pretty much all around the same price, and it's only three brands of gasoline, Shell, Rubis, and Esso. And then we have coming up to our right, the blue and white building. That's our passport office for the citizens. We only pay $50 and we can have our passport in a week time, which is good for 10 years. It is the e-passport. And to our left is our police training college. This is where the officers are trained before they're released onto the street. Now that one walking there, he needs some serious training. Yeah, that time, you saw, who is he gonna run behind? He couldn't catch nobody. I'm telling you. <laughs> And they have a problem with that too. <laughs> they do have um, a requirements coming up in Guyana soon that you have to be a high school graduate to be a cop. I'm like, we're going to soon have shortage of cops in Guyana. But well, it's the same thing here too. Same thing here? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's always been that way. It's always been that way, right? Yeah. And one time you had to be a uh, certain height to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. Right now, um, that was a problem because everybody was showing up as short. <laughs> yeah, it was seven feet, right? Seven yeah. Feet. Something like that.
Neelys of NASA, t-shirts, signs, and banners. Major credit card accepted. So let's see what we're gonna go to in here. Hello. Thank you. Okay, I would like to take the time out to highlight this section right here. These are our solar tees. Are you familiar with the solar tees? Also known as the magical t-shirts. They started off black and white. Once you go inside the sunlight, they're going to change colors. Wait right here for me. Let me make a demonstration for you. Just going to step outside in the sun. Oh wow. Okay. See? The longer you stay in the sun, the brighter the color will get. This is very fun and exciting for the children because they'll be in and out of the sun just to watch the color changes. There's a female store downtown. They started off with their prices at $30. Here are the adult prices is for $20 and the kids' prices are $14. These shirts they can be machine wash, hand wash, and they're bleach tolerated. Now there's another shirt here. This one do not change color, but it's special because of what it says. It says, I tore Nassau Bahamas with Leon. <laughs> My sincere apology is you cannot take him home with you guys. You purchase one of these t-shirts. So Leon, you do have a brand. Yes, I do. And I'm promoting your brand here. With your ID, you're exempted from paying the local tax. Starting here is a sale wrap from $6. You could work your way up. Then there's another one starting from 8 in the corner. Happy shopping, guys. Thank you. This is a shop we're actually shopping and I'm showing you the prices of everything in the Bahamas here. You're gonna have sunglasses and this souvenir shop and lots of jewelry from the Bahamas Island. This is what you actually would expect to pay on these things. Is a YouTuber. Yes. Trying to promote. I want to see how this shirt changes its color. It goes out black and white. Yes. And it's starting to get color in the sun. Right. It's, pr it's printed on UV rays. Ink, so as long as there is sunlight, you'll always see color. Okay. There you go. That's really cool. Let me see the color inside. It actually does have color now. Cool. Show them how to shop. Yeah. 
What is your paw holding there? Hello. Hi, Dad. See, they said that he was my father, so he is technically my dad. Would you guys agree he looks like my dad? Total dealership. And pretty much what a car may cost you in the U.S., you can almost double the price here on the island. Really? Don't forget, we have to import it in, pay all those duty and everything. So what's an average cost for a car? Um, say for example, I just got a three cylinder Toyota Rez and that was 28000 And I know those Toyota Rez in the U.S. there like 14 or something like that. I'm gonna drive something that ain't there. <laughs> Are you you? The Toyota Ravs? The Ravs. Oh, okay. They're like what price? Tree cylinder? We don't drive that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have the Ravs inside the US. A tree cylinder car? Yeah. I've never seen a tree cylinder car over there. Me yeah. either. You think it is not a three, but it is a three. I mean, the Toyota Rez. I know they have smart cars. Yeah. But that's they almost have some like dumb cars too. <laughs> yeah, the smart cars are for like two people, you know. But mm -hmm. the Rez three cylinder. I know the smallest they have is like four cylinder. You think it's a four? But the Toyota Rez is really a three cylinder. Yeah, I don't think I ever seen that in the U.S. Now. If I see. One, I'll point it out to you and you say, oh yeah, we have those, but they're three cylinders. Okay, we have Camrys, like what's going there. Yeah. Good on gasoline, I'll tell you that much. The Camry? No, I'm talking about the Toyota. Oh, the Rez? Yeah, three cylinder, yeah, man. This street in which we are traveling on, this is named after one of your former U.S. president. This is called JFK Drive. And the reason why this is known as JFK Drive is back in the early 60s when the Bahamas wanted the independence from the British. Mr. Kennedy, he was very instrumental in trying to help us do just that. And so the government at that particular time thought it fitting to name the street in his honor to show our appreciation and our gratitude for the effort in which he had given towards us. Also along this way, you will see the cemetery where Anna Nicole and her son Daniel, both of them, are laid to rest. Before time would have been okay for you guys to go and view their grave, but it discontinued allowing folks to come and see because some folks are going there, and they were doing the dirtiness of the dirt off the grave. And so they decided not to allow anyone to come and see it unless you're a very, very close family member. Let's give me a minute. I'm gonna talk about it, let you know what it was all about. Birthday girls, happy birthday. <coughs> and that particular wine, you can only find it here in the Bahamas. You can find it no other place. It was not made in the Bahamas. It was made in France for the Bahamas. And it's not sweet and it's not dry. 
It's just right in between. <coughs> So enjoy it. Are you going to share it? Maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> I figured that. That's why I bought it hot. <coughs> See, this is one of the major highways. And you would notice that the speed limit is only 30 miles per hour. That's why you have a tree cylinder car. Well, island is small. In case you guys didn't know, and in the Bahamas they do drink and drive. They do really? walk the street with open containers, drinking ages 18, see, 30 miles per hour. <clears throat> and this is one of the reasons why they allow them to drink and drive. It's like, where are you gonna go? <laughs> and I know what's going on in your head is perhaps they have a high accident rate but it's quite the opposite. It seems as though they drive better when they're drinking because they're very, very cautious. They don't want to spill their drink while they're driving. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, you did it before, right? No. Come on, speak the truth now. Come on, speak the truth. We won't tell nobody. There's no officers on the bus. Give you a ticket when you get back. And then we have a replica of the Queen Conch Shell. And in case you guys didn't know, here in the Bahamas, we love to eat seafood. We love our seafood fresh. We want it out of the water, onto the stove, and then onto the table. We don't like frozen and overnight stuff. What is, very, what is also very popular among the locals is the shellfish called the conch. Anyone ever heard about the conch? It's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> That's what she said, right? <laughs> there are many ways to prepare the conch, but we like to eat it raw. That's taking the conch out of the shell. It's a muscle, just like scallop. Taking the muscle out of the shell, which is still alive and moving, and then clean it up until you're left with that white muscle. We take that and slice it up into chunks along with some tomatoes, onions, green pepper, red pepper, add a pinch of salt, squeeze some lemon juice, orange juice onto it, mix it all together, and if you know that, you know it as the conch salad. But that's what they call the Bahamian blue pill, or the Viagra. <laughs> yes, it's an aphrodisia. Said if you're a minute man, it makes you an hour man. If you're an hour man, then it may, well, let me stop, let me stop. I got too many teenagers on board here. <laughs> Well, this will be the cemetery here where Anna Nicole Smith and uh, son Daniel both uh, laid to rest. And if you know of Dr. Miles Monroe, the evangelist, who was killed in that plane crash along with others, they also laid to rest in that cemetery. And one of our, go ahead. Can I take these down? You can roll it down if you want to. This is our national bird, the pink flamingo. This is considered upper class area. And this is now the entrance for that new resort that was built by the Chinese. As you can see straight ahead, all freshwater lake off to our left. It's called Lake Cunningham. Uh, you won't find no catfish, no bass, no alligators, no crocodiles. You won't find any of those there. We don't even have no squirrels. We have no deers, no lions, no tigers, none of those stuff. We do have snakes though, um, but we have no venomous snakes. I know ladies, a snake is still a snake. You see the snake, you run and the snake also run. Everybody's scared. Uh, and they can grow pretty big too. We call them fall snake. They can grow pretty thick too and long. But you can handle them, handle them. You can catch them and use them as pets. The two towers that you see straight ahead there, nobody can use them for no pet though. But the two towers you see, that's the Grand Hyatt of the Bahama. And I, their minimum room is like 200. Atlanta's minimum room is around 500. And then slightly to the right, you have the um, high end, which is called the Rosewood. And behind the first tower, you will see the SLS, which is also the high end of the Atlantis. 
Now, um, there are casinos throughout the entire Bahamas, but you will not find in any of those casinos locals gambling. It is against the law for us to do so. If we are caught gambling, that's $1,500 fine or three months in prison. Pause that for a sec. What is it? Should over. She guessed it. <laughs> So family, I'm gonna let you guys out. And you see the door that says East. You can make your way on the inside. That's the um, lobby. And right behind that is the casino. Uh, who wanna gamble, that's up to you, but you can exit the back and go and see around the property, see the flamingos and everything. The time right now um, is 12.52. So I would see you guys at 130. Okay. That's good. That's good enough. We normally take 30 minutes, but I'm giving you a little extra time so you can be on the hour. Yep.
סאוט על הבעיה, כן. Let's go get something to drink now. This is the Hyatt Hotel, the Bahama Hotel in the Bahamas. It's a nice hotel, nice scene. Let's go check it out. Hmm, I like the view here. This is really sweet. This is a very nice view. Very nice. Look at the water in the back. It's really clear. Bahamas is not so nice everywhere, but certain places you can come. And it's very nice. It's very expensive, more expensive than the United States when it comes to everything. As you can hear earlier, what the uh, the bus drive, it is expensive. So that's crystal clear water there. Well, I'm not about water, but can we go fish in there? <laughs> Probably not. I enjoy the scene. Caribbean. Caribbean vibes are always nice. I like to be in the Caribbean. This is a nice place.
So water is crystal clear here. I don't see anything like fish or anything, but this hotel is really nice. It's the Baja Mar Hotel. We came in here, let's just walk around, have some lunch, and then we're gonna go on to our next tour destination that the bus is taking us around. It's Leon tour. It's, it's more like a local tour, local shop that he's been exploring and he's taking us along to show us what it is but we've been enjoying it so far i think the next stop is going to be at the beach so let's see what the beach has to offer but so far it's very nice it is very very nice and we like it not all but most parts are Yes, Koba. Let me get you. Give me a nice looking face there. Emma, can you move out my picture, please? Don't put your finger in front of the camera. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Koba want to look like she's watching up in the sky. Looking like, you think the coconut tree then is like banana tree? This water falling from above. like this place yeah nice
So that brings us to the end of this one tour that we did of this hotel. This place is really, really beautiful. I like it. It's breezy, it's windy, the water, the pool, fountain, everything's nice about here. So you sure check this place out when you come to the Bahamas. Just doesn't get any better than this. Look. Everybody's good? Yes, we are. Did you get to go to the back? Yes. Saw the flamingos? Yes. They were hiding. They were on vacation. Or <laughs> well, they're hiding from you. I know. Man, I don't want to be in no YouTube. <laughs> I don't want to be in your tube. <laughs> so you took a good look around. Anybody? Utilize the casino. And also they have a golf course, as you can see. 18 hole golf course, Royal Blue. And that's a good look of the um, Rosewood, the high end of the Bahama. This will be the entrance to get there. Chinese. Yeah. And then we have the Super Club Breezes, which is not a part of that group of company, of a hotel, sorry. Um, no one under 18 is allowed there. Once you check in, you will have access to alcohol. That's where most spring breakers like to come. So parents, you get spring breakers coming to the Bahamas, I can guarantee you that's where they want to stay. Lots of alcohol, a lot of partying. We will travel along the coastal side. I'll make a stop um, on the beach if you guys want to get out. Uh, did y'all go to the beach at the hotel? Yes. Are you went out to the beach? No. <laughs> Was there? Oh, you the beach? did. You could have gone straight out to the beach. Oh. But I'll make a stop. Now you guys should get out, view it. That's the Atlantic Ocean. This beach here is called Goodman's Bay Beach. Yeah. And then off here, coming up off to the right, the house to the left of those beaches by the apartments, that is the home for the U.S. ambassador here to the Bahamas. It's also a new resort, Goldwyn, just recently opened, about five, five months ago. And then we have the office of our Prime Minister. This is the Prime Minister's office here. And a lot of these homes you see along the way here, these are all Airbnbs. Airbnbs where? On the waterfront. And who owns them? Private people? Private, yeah. Still your upper class area. That island out there. How much does the Airbnb goes for here? Various prices, all depends. You know, no set price. 
Yeah, I never had any. Oh, you don't do Airbnb? Not here in the Bahamas. I do me and me. <laughs> My own humble abode. I know. What, Airbnb? No, most folks, they have the, they manage their own Airbnb. Well, I mean, as far as like, you know, the cleanup and, you know, just yeah, yeah. the maintenance and everything. Yeah, they'll hire a company to do the cleaning clean and the maintenance and all of that. Anybody want to get out, take some pictures? What do you think? Sure, why not? Oh, you want to go to the Sandy Beach? Let me go right up the street here to the Sandy Beach. This is Sandy Point Plaza, I guess. Okay. And I'll take you to the Sandy uh, Beach. And this island off to our left, that island is known as Long Key. That's owned by Chris Blackwell. Chris Blackwell, he was the manager for Mr. Paul Marley, the famous Jamaican reggae singer. And so if you guys want to purchase an island, you're more than welcome to do so. And now Mr. David Copperfield, he had bought two and he paid 25 million for each one of the islands. I know that's candy money for you guys. In case you guys want to start Airbnb, I've been in Airbnb for the past three years, super host consecutive. So I can help you guys out with that. There you go. I have a lot of Airbnbs in New York. Are you on there? Yeah. Okay. And you manage on remote. I would be away for like two months and it's still running. Yeah. Well, that's good. Most guests would think I'm right next door, but I'm halfway across the world for two months. Nobody even knows where I am. You think they don't know? Well, my phone is always on roll. Right now, I'm. look where I am. Where are you? A country away from where it is. <laughs> he don't even know where he's at. <laughs> okay, you guys, you can go out there to the water. Get your feet wet. Don't jump in wholesale now. Columbus! Wait! Oh, man, this is fabulous. This is a beautiful spot. Beautiful. Right here. Yeah. I'll just stay here the whole time. Leave us here. Go back to New York, ship. This water is beautiful here. I wonder if this water is warm. Oh, yeah. It looks really cold. Yes, it does. Yeah. Feels good, though. Yeah, it feels amazing. Yeah. Is Texas hot right now? No, it's cold. Because I see it's like getting cold, freeze. Yeah. So this is the Bahamas Beach. What it looks like. Yeah, you can leave me in the Bahamas if you want. Well, people are snorkeling here. You have kids right there. Look at that, they're snorkeling. 
So the Bahamas beach, right on the Bahamas. The water is really nice. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the water there on the beach anyway, but it's beach, you know. It's a nice place though. So this place is called Sunder Beach in the Bahamas. Going back to the bus. So we had a little bit of the beach and we're gonna go back to a taxi cab. Here we are, taxi tour. So that was a nice beach. Sander Beach. Welcome to Sander Beach. Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. I was sharing with the teenager back there. <laughs> And it looks like a lighthouse, but it wasn't a lighthouse. It was a restaurant, actually, that sits out there in the middle of the water. There's another island behind the one that you're looking, which is called Crystal Key. And they had a bridge from Crystal Key out to that. It's really nice. But it's all closed. They closed for some time now. Long Key. That's, yeah, that's one that's owned by Chris Blackwell, who was the manager for Bob Marley. an area where you have quite a number of local eateries that you can go to either one of them and you can get some of the native food and as I shared earlier the locals we love our seafood but not only seafood that they sell there you can get your steaks and um, chicken and burgers and pastas and all of that but you find um, a lot of tourists as well as locals like to flock there this is when they don't feel like cooking. Was that a coconut stand? Yeah. Get the water out of it and put it into a jug and sell it. Oh. How much does a coconut cost on the island? I keep your coconut trees everywhere. <laughs> Must be cheap. It's just, yeah. It's just that, uh, some folks can't climb it and they just want the water because the water inside is very, very healthy. Especially if you have um, 
sickness by kidney and things so that that's very good. used to be a plantation off to the right and that building was once the slave owner's house so when did slavery abolish in 1834 it's probably the same time in Guyana too right Olive? 1834 in Guyana? no when? slavery was abolished in Guyana when did that happen in Guyana? They say here, yeah. this is the fish fry. And all of these are local eateries. Nobody wanted to get nothing to eat, right? Not really. Nobody answered me. No. I usually okay. take two hours to eat, so. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna miss the boat about, like that. It'll take about 40 minutes for them to get your food to you because they cook to prepare. He's looking the wrong way. I guess you were right there, my He's a visitor. 1833. <laughs> he just realized. I know. I know a, a few things, right? No. It's a hit and miss with me. I know. You thought Ocean K was in the middle of Couldn't even recognize him on the map. Ocean K doesn't even exist on the map. So how do you expect me to find him? It's a little tiny little dot. I can't recognize on the Google map. It is. Gotta be. They find a little shallow spot and they build it up. Oh, so we're back here. Just forward. So this, this place experienced a lot of cruise ship here, right? Yeah. You have MSC, you have Royal Caribbean and Carnival. Oh, so there's two Carnival. <laughs> one. One Carnival, one Royal Caribbean, and I think it's two MSC. Oh. Yeah, two. Yes, we have cruise ships every day. How bad? How many? Um, it fluctuates. Uh, like tomorrow we'll have two. Like last Friday we had at least about four cruise ships that would end. So it's not a consistent day that you have four or five. You know, it kind of fluctuates. But every day we do have cruise ships. What's it? Chong Canoe. Chong Canoe Beach? Yeah. Oh, so that's right next to where the cruise ship is, comes in. Yeah, this is the closest one to the cruise ship. Yeah. So I, I guess... Know. That's a beach, bro. It's a beach. So people who comes in with a cruise ship, the closest they, they just hop off, they can come to Chong Canoe Beach. Uh-huh. And then we have... Um, Another resort by the Chinese, which is called the Point. It's the Point. The, the Point. Point. So the name straight ahead. Yeah, that's a part of the. the they have point. a cruise line. Yeah. And they give healthcare workers free cruises. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw that. Yes. And then they also have one next to it called the. One Just the healthcare worker power. alone. Correct. Well, you want to know you qualify. Yeah? <laughs> That would be me going on a cruise leaving you. <laughs> hmm. I think she's trying to get rid of you. <laughs> yeah, I think. 
YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of hard to brush off, man. Right. I'm like the fly on the cow. Man, you better be quiet. Swing your tail, and, and there goes the fly. Us, only a few of us, what, three men here, and the rest is with ladies. Be quiet. I gotta keep quiet, man. <laughs> Next thing you see, we're both standing on the exactly. roadside and the bus is going. I'm, you understand. <laughs> Driving on the wrong That's side of the road. That's one particular harbor, <laughs> Margaritaville. Yep. They don't know where they're going, but we're standing on the roadside. Back to the ship. Yep. <laughs> and that's the U.S. Embassy, the brown and white building. And this one... Always get speed for pullover. Oh, I'm a nurse. <laughs> Man, I should be that cop pulling you over. I mean, there was four See different the ones. Flag there. <laughs> this is McDonald's. I'm not saying that I'm a nurse. I always get pulled over when coming back from work, so it's not really my fault. Oh, okay. This was the second hotel to be built. Currently, the oldest existing hotel built in 1900, built by an American, Mr. Henry Flagner. When he first built it, he had built it out of Georgia Pine, but in 1922, three quarters of it was destroyed by fire, and they rebuilt it back in 23. That statue at the very front, that is a statue of our first royal governor to the Bahamas, that was in the person of Woods Rogers. But he had came into power, he came with a decree from the Queen to get rid of all the pirates that were making a menace in society. And for those that rebel against the order, he caught them, took them to the rear of the fort that was on the site and executed them by hanging them. Hanging is still a part of our capital punishment. The last time we did it was in 2001, reason premeditated murder. The building where you see the artwork on the side of it is known as Pombe Museum. Whenever they brought the slaves to the island, that is where they took them and auctioned the slaves off. And at the rear of the hotel, you have Senor from Here. Oh, that's a senior frog? Yeah. I'm going to let you off right there so you want to... Come out here and look around, you can do that. I just don't want to get a ticket out here. Pardon me? Well, if I was you, I would sue the cruise ship. <laughs> no, seriously, if I'm going on a cruise, why would you take me to a place that is not safe? Because I want to get out and see the island. I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to be crammed up in a cruise ship. So if you know that it's terrible, it's dangerous, then why are you taking me there? No, no, it's not, it's not the cruise ship. It, I think they took it off the U.S. Travel Advisory. Right. Um, 18 people was killed here last year. That was like U.S. Citizens. No, since the first of the year. Since the first of this year? Since January 1st. Not one first year. of this year I that's it what it's saying year. no no it was last year in 2023 it took a complete no visitors was killed oh. no it didn't say that's, visitors it, didn't say visitors. it just said there were 18 murders that's the oh. inner city that's everywhere with these young kids them killing up themselves oh yeah that's not in this area here oh so it wasn't tourists that they killed no no, no. Oh. They're just killing off each other. Speed, but the way they said it had people thinking that is against the visitors. Tourism is our number one in the street. You commit a crime against a tourist, it's not just against that tourist, it's against the state. The severity of that is, that's like you trying to commit suicide. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Right, because they put that in Jamaica or something on the travel advisory. Yeah. The Bahamas and Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica. Yeah. After the after NASA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After like the media. So like I said, if you're gonna, if some place is dangerous, why take me there? I don't know because they have cruise ship going to Ecuador, and they have, <laughs> yeah. uh, they have a war against drugs in Ecuador. <laughs> Honduras. No, it depends where in Honduras, I think. That's anywhere, though. Yeah. So that brings us to the end of our cruise. 
Yes, it's uh, certainly been a pleasure to have you all visit us here. We don't take it lightly when you do grace us with your presence. We realize you could have gone any other place, but you choose to come to the Bahamas. And indeed, we're very thankful and appreciative of that. It is our prayer and our desire that as you continue on your voyage, that you'll have a safe and enjoyable one. I want to wish those who are celebrating birthday, happy birthday. For those who celebrate an anniversary, happy anniversary. Um, I want to say happy Valentine, happy Easter, <laughs> happy Independence, uh, President's Day, Memorial Day. Um, anything else I'm missing? And happy life. So when a tourist comes to this island and if they would like to take your crew, uh, their, your tour, how do they get a hold of you? Just hold my hand. Hold up. So this is Leon. He took us uh, around a really nice tour of the island, and this trip costs forty dollars per okay. person. It's about a three-hour tour when we get here, and Leon is going to share his contact with us. Save one on my phone, so if you want to snap a picture, snap a picture of it, you could. So this is his contact number. <laughs> if you want to get to this guy, maybe that's his number. Leon, you can email him. You can call him. And that's the tour bus that we used in the Bahamas. So very nice tour bus. Everyone have a great time. And we're going back to the ship now. And the cost per person for this tour is 40 US dollars. It's about a three hour tour of the island that we did. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So, so far that's our first time of Bahamas and we had a great time. We had an experience of seeing what this island looked like. Maybe someday we'll come back, maybe someday we won't, but we're about to head to go for lunch now. Right, thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Excellent.